kid you not. I feel like my child is the most active child there is. And flashcards and even learning boards don't hold her attention for very long. So I created my child's very own interactive learning board that's perfect for toddlers and even preschoolers. So stick around because today you will see exactly what I did to make my child an interactive learning board. If you're new here, welcome to Everything Aja, where we do parenting the fun way. If you're not a member of the community already, go ahead and like, subscribe, and click the bell. So today we're gonna amp up the typical learning board by learning how to create our very own interactive learning board. Now earlier this week, you saw how I made my child her very own learning board, but because she is really active, I needed to make something that held her attention. And I wanted to give her a little bit of a challenge, so I went ahead and put things on there that she will learn later on in life. Well, the first thing you will need is your very own trifold board. Now, I went ahead and bought a black trifold board at Walmart for under $4. You will also need construction paper in addition to Velcro, and if you can, you will need access to a laminator. Now, the only thing I personally made on her board are the shapes. I've added the link below in the description to my shape document in addition to all the other resources that I use to make this interactive learning board. Now go ahead and get your supplies and get your toddler or preschooler ready to have an interactive learning board that will keep them busy for hours. Now in order to make an interactive learning board, you're going to need different interactive activities. activity that I did is I actually created a shape activity. You will need to put Velcro on the back of all of your shapes and all of your numbers and even your animals that will go from smallest to biggest. flaps that will open up for opposites. You will fold your paper hot dog style and then you're going to glue your opposites and go ahead and put some glue. Now I use Elmer's glue that way I know that it stays on there nice and sturdy and you're going to glue down your opposite. Now I suggest using cardstock especially on your opposites that way when your child opens and closes the flaps it will stay sturdy and won't rip or tear easily. Once all three opposites have dried, you're ready to use your scissors. Notice you only cut to the middle right here. Then you open the flap so fast, the opposite of fast is slow. have pre-writing cards that she's able to use. I printed out these cards on cardstock and then laminated them. This way she can use a dry erase marker and trace along the dotted line and this will help her in the future when she's ready to write. I also included a few animal activities, one in which she's able to velcro animals in an A, B pattern. Another activity I printed in cardstock and laminated was for her to trace her numbers. For her alphabet, I printed out these wonderful owl cards that she will pull out of her board and then just simply place the correct letter onto that owl. Now, I didn't use Velcro for this activity because I just want her to practice letter recognition by simply matching the letter on the owl to the corresponding letter on the card. With the song, she's able to pull out a designated song from the bag, and this allows her to work on her music skills by singing the designated song. For flashcards, I have three sets of flashcards. One set of flashcards are her numbers with corresponding counting objects. I bought these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I also printed out some Minnie Mouse 
shape flashcards. Now I printed out two sets so that I can turn these flashcards into a nice game of matching. And her third set of flashcards are simply the letters in her name. This way she can practice putting the letters of her name in order. For the flashcards, I put all three flashcards in a gallon bag and then I was able to secure that gallon bag onto the board. Of course, I made labels for each one of these sections. Now for her age, I want her to use this board year after year after year. So I laminated a white sheet of paper in which she will be able to use her dry erase marker and change her age. Now you will need three file folders. Of course, I love colors. So I just simply grabbed a colorful file folder and taped the edges of the file folder. This way nothing falls out. For her name, I looked up these rainbow letters on Google. I will put the link below in the description to these letters as well. And I just simply cut them out on cardstock, taped them on a yellow piece of cardstock, and then laminated them because I know I want them to hang off of the board. Have some fun. Yeah, oval. Oval, yes. Yeah, oval. Baby, right here. Good job. Put it on there. Pig, pig, sheep, pig, sheep. Good job. Pig, sheep, pig, sheep. Two. Yeah, Missing number three. is that you now have your very own interactive learning board that will keep your child busy for hours. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell. And let me know down in the comments how your child enjoys their very own interactive learning board. See you later!